Hello. Hey, welcome, welcome everybody to the Commentary Zone TCZ News for the weekend edition. And yes. you've been looking forward to this, Jamal. Um, the newest installment of 90 Day, this time it's the other way, is coming back and they announced the cast. Yeah, I, I, I'm just happy to have new couples, to be completely honest. Um, you get to know new people. I mean, I think if TLC would just refresh every season with new couples, they'd be fine. Because we really don't want to see the same couples like two or three seasons in a row because we get sick of them. I mean, if you want to like give them a couple years off and then bring them back, great. But year after year, it, it dilutes um, their pool of talent by doing it that way. Because it, it looks like it's lazy casting. Because it's like, well, we already know these people, and you're probably going to give the same storyline, um, i.e., Mike and Natalie. Yeah, yeah. Um, and quite honestly, Mike and Natalie could have been wrapped up their first season in because we knew it wasn't right? going to work. Right, we do. Yeah, not being agreed. mean or anything, but just based on what we saw, that exactly. has slim to no chance of succeeding. Okay, guys. So as you enter the room, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, and tell a friend. Follow us on Twitter and on Instagram, and you can even watch live simulcast during the week on Twitter and Twitch. All right, so let's bring this up and see who we have on this season's uh, stupid show. Okay, so this is from Us uh, Magazine. And of course, they had to top it off. They had to start it off with, with Jenny and Sumit. But let's, let's go and see the couples that they have. Okay, so this first couple is, hold on, oh Jesus. They have the first couple as Jenny and Sumit, but their picture is later on in the article. I just hate how they have this line. Right. So Jenny is 63, Sumit is 33, so they're back. Um, there's Ariella and Biniam. They're returning as well. And then Corey and Evelyn. I don't like that couple. I have heard feedback about, about them, so yeah. Um, but this, Stephen and Alina, they're a new couple. Stephen's 25, a devout Mormon, is giving up his life in Utah to be with Alina, who's 20, a Russian woman he met a year ago on an app. The pair face many obstacles once the Russian, the Russian border closes due to the virus, uh, forcing them into a backup plan. What do you think? I'm excited because this is they have to go. I want to know what the backup plan is. But will we see anything? Because, you know, as soon as, like, like C-19 gets announced, like, production has to shut down. Or right. is it so different in Russia? It might be different because different countries weren't hit. Each country was hit differently. So it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see when C-19 was, um, comes into play and where they wind up. That's, it's it's going to come down a timeline for this couple. Did they get stuck in um, Utah, or did they get stuck somewhere outside of Russia? I'm I'm intrigued. Outside? Oh, you mean right, they can't get in? Where? Yeah, they can't get in. That's right. what it is. I don't know. That's what I'm interested to see. Well, good luck they, to them. It, yeah, because this border is closed. Which border? Are you talking about U.S. or Russian border? That's the key. That's why I want to know. No, it is the Russian border closes. So, right, okay, so it closes. That are they? Did they I, I wonder, did they get closed while he was in Russia, or can he, did he get to Europe looking to connect to to get a connected flight to Russia? He couldn't get in. And did they wind up staying in another country? That's why I went out. See, I read this completely differently because I read it like he got in and then the borders closed. Okay. And he couldn't get out. See? <laughs> like exactly. how Jenny did in, in India. Right. That's why I'm intrigued to, to figure out which side are like are you are you correct or am I correct? Because it could be either way. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah. I'm intrigued. I wonder what city in Russia they're in, because does this backdrop look like Russia? 
Russia it is vast. Russia is vast, and some cities are more advanced than others. So, I, like I say, they could be anywhere. I'm, I'm this couple, just based on location alone, like has me interested. Okay, so this is Ellie and Victor, Seattle native. Ellie, 45, fell for Victor, 38, while visiting South America. After two years doing long distance, Ellie decided to move to Victor's home in Provencia, Colombia. However, they must first overcome their major issues of trust and finances. It ain't gonna work. No. <laughs> no. Nope. It ain't trust gonna work. You got trust issues and finance issues. Uh, you got to pick a struggle. You can't have both. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, Kenny and Armando. Yay. They're back again. They're planning their wedding and figuring out just how much money they want to spend. Um, come on. Um, plus, they both worry whether Armando's family will support them on the big day. I look forward Aww. to this. I've always liked them. Yeah, yeah. I I somehow want them to move back to the States. I'm just saying. Same. Yeah, but they look really happy. Aw, yeah. yay. Okay, so good. All right, is this moving? I think I'm stuck. Hold on. Let's see. All right, Jenny and Sumit. After moving back... Oh, Jesus. Come on. All right, so after moving back and forth to India multiple times, Jenny is now living in India full time, but still wondering whether she'll, if she'll ever marry Sumit. Plus, his mother offers to move in to train Jenny to become a traditional Indian daughter-in-law. This next. is so manufactured. Yes, oh, my next. God. Don't care about them. Oh, Lord. Okay, so next we have Biniam and Ari or Ariella. The pair are still living together in Ethiopia eight months after welcoming son Avi. However, Ariella's friendship with her ex-husband of 10 years could cause problems when he comes to visit. Why her ex-husband coming to visit her? Exactly. Did you hear the tittle-tattle in, in, you know, word on the curb that um, Biniam was spotted in New York City? No, I hadn't heard that. Yes. Because isn't she from Jersey? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This cow. I can't. Oh, Lord. Corey and Evelyn. Corey and Evelyn finally get to start wedding planning after the lockdown is lifted in Ecuador. However, they face major problems when he shares that he nearly slept with another woman when they were on a break. Plus, he quickly learns he's not the only one with secrets. I don't care. Yeah, no. This sounds... This sounds very planned out and manufactured as well. Well, why are they bringing this couple back? Nobody really? liked them the first time around because they were like fake and fraudulent. Yeah, don't care. Oh, Lord. And I think that's it. So I'm I think intrigued. That's it. I am intrigued for the season um, because of uh, Sasha, the first couple, the Mormon. The Russian. Uh, they're in the Mormon. Um, uh -huh. I'm here for Ariella and Biniam, and I'm intrigued um, with uh, Ellie and the South American, uh, Colombian guy, because I want to see how they navigate the trust and finance issues. Those are two major struggles. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, okay, we'll watch it. You seem yeah. to be interested. We'll watch it. I yeah, I think we know because we can't. And this is going to be easy because we already know who we don't like. <laughs> if we're going to be honest, like, like let's be honest, like we know which couples we're not really interested in. So we don't have to give them too much, too much paper. We can give our paper to the, the interesting couples. So yeah. I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with the season. Um, I wish they had all been new couples. I really yes. do. But, but this is this, this will be okay. This will be okay. I would love to see who submits. Um, applications for this show and their reasoning behind the ones they pick and the ones that they don't select. I would like well, to see that. Well, Jenny and Smith is just for views, in my opinion, to be honest. Because they know that they, they know. watch them? Yeah, because it's a complete train wreck. And now you're throwing the mama in the mix, trying to move in, moving in with them. That They know that's going to be a whole mess because the mama don't like Jenny no way.
you know, I can't commit to watching this the whole season. Okay. That's all I have to say. I got you. I feel you. Because I have a feeling that Jenny and Summit are going to piss me all the way off. And get too much camera time. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this was um, a great article. Uh, 90 Day Fiance, The Other Way, Season 3, Cast, Meet the New and Returning uh, Couples. We're going to give it a try. We're going to watch, see what happens. I am intrigued with, like you, with the Russian couple and the Colombian couple mm -hmm. because I don't think the Colombian couple will last just based on I knew a couple that was in that situation in Barbados. It lasted for several years, several children. She gave up her whole entire family in the States. And eventually it ended and, yeah. you know, it was just weird. But good luck to all of these couples. Let's hope it's entertaining. Agreed. <laughs> Any final thoughts on this? No, we're good. Okay. So, guys, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Uh, leave us some comments below. Uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. And follow us on social media. Tell a friend. Until next time. Of course. All right. Bye. Bye.